everyone, this is Mary from Studio Us again, bringing you another project that you can do right at home. Today we're going to be drawing a really great giraffe and we're going to be coloring with colored pencils. I've got my drawing paper ready to go and as always I have my pencil, my pearl eraser, and my sharpie. Let's get started. So I went ahead and I marked the center of my paper as always and I gave myself some dotted lines for our first two steps. I want to make sure that I get some of these wonky shapes as accurate as possible to get started for you guys. So for our first step, we're going to start with this shape here. It's almost like an oval, but then it has a slight little bump up top. So what I would suggest is establishing where the bottom of that shape is. It's slightly above this center line here. Go ahead and mark how far out it's going to come. And then go ahead and start marking where it starts to curve upward and how high that additional little bump is going to be. Once you have all of that in, go ahead and draw. Very good. As always, do your best. And remember, push a little bit lighter than I'm pushing so you can erase if you need to. All right, for our next step, we're going to expand this shape by bringing a sort of curved line down and we're going to make a, a weird sort of shape that goes up, down, up, and back down again. So what I would suggest is marking where those shapes meet on our first one. So it looks like this shape is going to meet here and here. Go ahead and mark any uh, edges or corners that it has. So I'm marking where those points are where uh, it goes out furthest and then starts to curve inward. And I'm going to mark the bottom as well, how far down that goes. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in now. Very good. And then up here we have a very wonky shape, so take your time with it. Again, mark where it's going to meet our first one. And mark any important uh, curves or uh, corners that you're going to need. I'm gonna mark the corner there and where it starts to curve in here. And then again, mark how high up it's going to go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in now. I'm gonna connect those lines that I've made. I find it easier to do the little dotted lines first just to get an accurate shape, but do whatever's most comfortable for you. All right, excellent. Up next, we're going to expand on this shape even more. We're gonna have our, uh, what looks like the snout of our giraffe. It looks like it's going to overlap right about here before it comes slightly inward and back out right here. Before it comes down, just like this to a point. It's gonna curve back out this way and come back in. It looks like it's going to overlap right here. So go ahead, get that in and gonna overlap about right there. Perfect, that looks good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this line. Very good. And up next, we're gonna add the little uh, horns on top of our giraffe. So we, it looks like it's going to start right about here. It's gonna curve up slightly, and it looks like the top of that head is going to be right about there, that horn. It's gonna come down, and over like this, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead, draw that out and connect those lines. Very good, and one more. This one's going to come in and up and around like this, perfect. It looks like it's gonna meet up right about there. And actually, I'm gonna clean up this curvy line slightly. It's not going to curve so dramatically. It's gonna come in and out like that, perfect. Part of drawing is making adjustments as you go, so don't be afraid to do that. All right, perfect. Again, these are kind of funny shapes, so do your best, no worries. All right, we're starting to see this draft come together now. We are going to actually draw in the neck. It looks like the neck is going to start right about here. Pay attention to how much space is from this little point to 
that outside of the neck. It looks like it's gonna be right about here. And it looks like it's going to meet maybe right here. So I'm gonna draw a light dotted line to get that line first. I wanna make sure it's correct. And I'm gonna do one more. It looks like the neck is going to end right about here and come down to about here. Perfect, I'm gonna go ahead and connect those lines. Excellent. Don't forget, we have to add the ears. It looks like this ear is going to start right about here. And meet the head right about here. And it looks like it's going to come in and out and up. Maybe about this high before it, it curves back around like this. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and connect those. Excellent. And another ear over here that looks like it's going to meet right about here. Pay attention to how much space is from the neck to that ear. And it looks like it's going to overlap right about here. It's gonna come up and in, back up to about here. All right, very good. Go ahead and draw that in. Very good. All right, we're gonna do some erasing now. We're gonna get rid of most of these lines in here and most of the lines in here. So go nice and slow. Again, clean up any lines that you have to and we'll move forward. All right, let's keep going. So now we're going to add the eyes of our giraffe. So these are kind of a funny shape what I would suggest is getting that initial circle or oval in first and then add the details around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where that eye is going to overlap the side of the face and where those eyelashes are going to come off the face because that's gonna help me then form that oval. So I see it looks like the eye is going to be right about here. Pay attention to how much space is from this snout to that point of the eye. Maybe up here a little bit more. And I'm going to draw that first line, like I said, where I see that eyelash coming off the face. So, like that. Perfect. And I'm going to take this line here and I'm gonna round it out just like that. It's gonna come slightly off the face. Perfect. And I'm gonna draw those lines in because I think they're, they're correct. Perfect. So now we have one more line up here that's going to meet at the point for our eyelash. Looks like it's gonna start right about here and come over and then down to that point, just like that, perfect. And then we have just a little line here that's going to indicate those eyelashes, perfect. And we have a little line here that's going to connect to the eye, that's kind of like the bottom eyelid like we would have on ourselves. So I'm going to bring that around and bring it up just like that. Perfect. Uh, and then I went ahead and I brought this line down where we have a sort of detail. Perfect. Same thing, let's get the other eye. I'm gonna start with that uh, top eyelid first. Looks like it's gonna come around like that. And again, that oval that's going to come around for the eye that is going to come off of the head just slightly. I'm gonna connect those lines. Very good. Go ahead, finish the rest of the eyelid and those eyelashes. Mm -hmm. 
and draw in that little line for where the eyelashes are actually going to be. I'm go ahead and do that. Just like that, perfect. And then again, we have another uh, sort of outer eyelid or bottom eyelid that looks like it's going to start right about here and come around like this. It takes kind of a, a funny shape, but it, for the most part, it should match that initial oval that you made. Just like that, perfect. Kind of curve slightly. Just like that, perfect. All right, great, let's move forward. We're gonna start adding some details on the face now. This is really exciting. So, as you can see, we're going to bring a line down that's going to come and uh, meet right on top of our snout. So this line here is going to connect from this ear. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring it down. There are, a little, there are a few little waves here. Looks like it comes up slightly for a little bit of hair. Comes down, comes up slightly for a little bit of hair again, and then down to about right there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna draw that in. Very good. And we have another one over here. This time it looks like it's going to start right about here. And again, I'm just gonna give myself some light dotted lines to sort of get those curves in. And I'll clean it up when I actually draw over it. All right, very good. And next, let's go ahead and add our nostrils and our uh, mouth. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm going to do the nostrils first. It looks like they're going to be in line with this part of, a of the face. So I'm gonna kind of mark those outer edges and give myself some dotted lines to sort of get that shape in there and one over here as well. Again, a slight curve, just like that, perfect. So these are basically ovals, but they have some slight curvature. Go ahead and do your best with that. Curve up top, come down, curve down and then back up like that. Perfect. We're gonna add a sort of V right here. Again, a curvy line. Looks like it's gonna start right about here. Come down, loop in like that, and come back out. Just like that. It sort of matches the curves of our nostrils. And then finally, our mouth. There is a slightly curved line here and then a straighter line here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that curved one first. Starts right about here, slightly curves down and up to about here. And then one right up here, just right above it and to the side. Excellent. I'm loving this giraffe. Okay, we're gonna add some details on the ears now and at the top of the head. So I don't wanna forget that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this bump in first. It's gonna come up slightly and then a little line here. Perfect. And then we are going to go ahead and add the details to our ears and our little horns. So for our ear here, we're gonna put a small line right here that's going to meet this curved line here. So we have a little line there two smaller lines, one here and one here. They're really tiny, so play, pay close attention. And then this line is going to touch all the way around this way, but we have a little bit of hair. So it's gonna come up to a point and back down, just like that. Up, up, and then over like this. Perfect. Same thing over here. It looks like it's gonna start right about here. It's gonna touch that first line we made. There's a tiny little line right there. This one's going to come up to a little point, just 
like that. Before it goes up one more time and up one more time and then curves and goes up to the top of that ear. Perfect. Remember, we just want little indications of fur right there, right? And then it'll follow that out, outer uh, curve of the ear that's already there. Perfect. Next, we're gonna put just some little uh, zigzags here across the top of the horns just to indicate some fur again. So I'm gonna do my best to follow the, the little points as I see them, but it's mainly just some small zigzags right at the top there. Again, same thing. Do your best to get them to match as much as you can, but they're gonna be just some small zigzags right across the top. Excellent. We're gonna go ahead and erase the outer edges of our eyes. And by outer edges of the eyes, I mean you're erasing the part of the face that you can still see in the eyeball because that doesn't make any sense. So go ahead and clean up your eyes. Perfect. We're gonna add uh, a little curved rectangle. That's going to indicate some light on the eyeballs. So just gonna curve slightly like that. Just a small, small little rectangle on the left side of our eyes. Perfect. And then we can go ahead and add the fur that's on the side here. So it looks like it's gonna meet right here where the eyeball meets the eyelash. It's gonna come down and there's a little line there, a little bump. Again, down, another little, little line here. We have some more. Again, whenever you see these little bumps, that's just indication of fur, go ahead and bring it down like a little triangle, a little point, and then keep your line going. Just like that, perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and draw that in a little more clearly for you guys. All right, very good. We're gonna start adding some spots now. This might take me a minute because sometimes when I'm drawing these spots, my eyes get a little crazy. So, let's start over here. I see one spot on this side towards the bottom of our right cheek. It's gonna come up and then kind of wavy just like that. Perfect. We have another spot here that's going to kind of go around this line here, almost like a, a wavy leaf. Perfect. We have a spot that kind of goes on the outside of our eye. It's long, it's a long sort of wavy rectangle spot. Very good. And then we have some tinier spots up here. So I see one here, more like a little splotch. I see a tiny one here. And here, very good. Next, we're gonna do these spots over here. I see one that's gonna start right about here. This is a pretty big one. It's gonna come over and around like this. There's a spot here that's right along this line here. It's gonna come around and up like this. Perfect. We have another spot that's in here. All right, very good. And then again, our tinier spots up here. Try your best to get these spots as accurate as possible, but keep in mind that these are pretty organic shapes. They don't need to be totally exact. So don't stress out too much. This is supposed to be fun. All right, very good. We're gonna add our spots on the neck. These are a little bit bigger and so they'll be easier to see. We're gonna have one that's gonna start right about here. Again, come down, some slight waves. 
lips that come around and meet at the point right here at our mouth. We have another one here that almost hits this side but comes down and around like this and comes up and over. Perfect. We have another one right here. It's going to wave down and around like this. Very good. One more down here. We have a long sort of skinnier spot here. Perfect. Our giraffe looks wonderful. All right. So with that, we're ready to go over our drawing with Sharpie and erase away the pencil lines we have left. Go very slowly. Go over every line you've made. If you can still see some of the lines that you've erased, keep those erased. Do not go over them with Sharpie. We want those to be gone. But once we Sharpie over it, we'll take our eraser, get rid of those lines, and then we can start coloring. If you hear any snoring, there is my cat, Bella, who is sleeping on my drawing paper. Always very helpful. And now that we've finished with our Sharpie and eraser, we're ready to get started with our colored pencils. So first things first, I am going to color in the background before I do anything else. We have some different shades of yellow and green in there. So I'm going to use two light yellows and a light and dark green to sort of build this up. So actually, I'm going to cover my entire background with my uh, lightest yellow first, and then I'll build up on top of it. Basically, you'll fill in this whole background with a yellow, push a medium amount. You'll see a little bit of white still through uh, in the paper, but that's okay. And then we can start building up our darkest green at the bottom, followed by our lighter green, and then finally our darker yellow. All right. Now that we've gotten our yellow background all filled in, we can start building up with some other colors. It's showing up a little lighter down here, but I assure you that I've colored that nice and nice and yellow. So now I'm going to build up my other colors. Now this background is very fluid. It's very um, beautifully blended together. So when you color, don't color a section of color or a block of color. You're going to make it nice and loose so that it looks more like a gradient. So I'm going to start by taking my dark green and I'm only going to come up to about here, but I'm going to push very lightly and I'm going to layer on top of that yellow just to start building up some of that green. Okay, I'm gonna push a little darker now and get a sort of darker uh, section of colors down here. Again, keeping really loose edges. Very nice. Next, I'm going to take my lighter green and I'm going to sort of build up on top of this. Again, keeping loose edges and I'm gonna bring it up to about here. Very good. All right, next we can go ahead and take our slightly darker yellow and we're gonna sort of build up this middle section here before we keep the top nice and light. So I'm gonna push just a little harder, but again, keeping the lines and the edges nice and loose. All right, very good. That background's done. 
we can go ahead and start coloring in our giraffe. So we have lots of different shades of brown here. So what I'm going to do first actually is block in our darkest areas. So the ones that are sort of like a dark brown or a black, I think that's going to help. Once we get those filled in, we can establish where the sort of yellowy golds are on our giraffe. And then finally establish those different shades of brown. So first things first, I am going to color in the black. All right, so the eyes are colored in. Let's go ahead and color in the nostrils as well. And then I am going to color in the top of our horns because those are pretty dark. So I'm going to take my darkest brown and I'm gonna go over it, pushing pretty hard. And then I'm going to take black and go over it uh, a little bit lighter just to sort of layer those up. All right, very good. We have those darkest sections filled in. Let's fill in this um, outer hair as well on the back of the neck because that gets very dark too. So I'm going to take our brown. I'm going to push pretty lightly on the outer edge. I'm gonna gradually get a little bit darker and then get very dark towards uh, this line that's actually touching the neck. So we have a nice uh, range of values in that hair. Again, very lightly on the outer edge a little bit darker in the middle. Again, treat this more like a gradient than uh, actual chunks of color. We wanna keep it nice and fluid. And then again, darker right at the line. I'm gonna take some black and go over that too. So what I'm doing here is pushing really hard towards that line and then moving upwards and slowly letting up some pressure. That's how you can get some nice value with with one uh, colored pencil is just applying different amounts of pressure. All right, that looks awesome. Let's go ahead then and block in where we see any grays. Like I said, I wanna get all of the other colors out of the way because um, I think that's gonna help at least me personally. So I see the grays inside of the ears and I see it pretty dark up on the in, the very uh, inside corner of the ears. So I'm going to push a little bit harder than I normally would just to get some of that value, some of that uh, shadow in there. And then I'm going to push much lighter and push outwards, bring it outwards. Again, it's not a solid line here. It's, it's a soft sort of feathery edge. So don't worry about coloring that in completely. That's not what we want. We want a sort of jagged edge. All right, very good. Same thing over here. Nice and dark on the inside. And then push a little bit lighter as you go out and keep those edges nice and loose. Very good. We have a little bit of a gray down here by the bottom of the eyes and then a little bit on the actual uh, top part of the neck. So I'm gonna go ahead and block that in. I just see it very lightly over here underneath the eyes and on that bottom eyelid, just a little. Again, same thing over here. See it on the bottom eyelid and a little bit right underneath the eye on the face. Excellent, and then again down here on the actual neck. Very good. Now keep in mind there are some parts of the giraffe that are white. Keep those white, don't color over those. We'll leave that the color of the paper. 
So now I'm going to take this goldish yellow and I'm gonna start blocking in where I see the yellowish parts of the giraffe on the body because then we can start blocking in more of those brownish reddish colors. So I see some yellow right here on the neck um, around the spots and directly beneath this gray. Now I see it pretty white on the right side of our neck. Leave that white just like I said. Very good. I am going to take that gray again and put a little bit over here. And I see a lot of yellow on the upper eyelids and right here on the outer part of our snout. So pay close attention and go ahead and fill that, uh, those areas in. Be sure not to go over any of the spots. All right, I think we've blocked in all the yellow that we need to. So now we can start building up some of our browns. So I have a light tannish brown and a darker brown, and we're gonna work with those. We're gonna do the best that we can with what we have. I also have a backup sort of reddish brown to layer on top should we need it. So what I'm going to do now actually is color in all of the brown areas with this light brown and we can build on top of it. We can also use this light brown for the highlights on our spots uh, and the lighter areas of the actual brown parts of the giraffe. So go ahead and color in the rest of the areas that you see as brown. Again, make sure not to go over the colors that we've already colored, the yellow, the gray, etc., And make sure not to go over any areas that are white. All right, once we have all of that light brown colored in, we can go ahead and take our darker brown and we can get in some of those darker shadows. We'll put the reddish brown on top. So it's very light right now, we can go ahead and start building up. So I'm going to find all of those shadows or the darker areas of the brown and get those darker values in. Again, you're going to find these darker values in more of like these corners or crevices or by any of these bumps or lines that we have. So I I see some dark brown here. I'm going to push a little hard and then lightly taper off to get that nice value. So go ahead, do that wherever you see a darker brown. We're just gonna build up. All right, our giraffe looks wonderful so far. We're just about done. I'm going to finally take this sort of reddish brown and I'm just going to lightly build on top of this light brown for a sort of medium shade. You don't need to do too much to it. This is just to sort of build the color on top. All right. And that's our project. Thanks for tuning in and check in with Studio Us again for some more projects that you can do at home. I'm Mary. Stay safe.